Hi gems, I'm Alan, and um, this week for my vlog video I wanted to share a little kind of fun story with you that has to deal with this here, pineapple. Um, so I needed to get some fruit for a, a product campaign that I was a part of that I had to take a photo for. And so I was at uh, Aldi um, a couple days ago to get it and I was like standing by the pineapples and I like kind of picked a couple up there are only a few there and like I don't know anything about picking a pineapple and so I was like debating what fruit I was going to get and um, so I grabbed one and then I had walked over and I was like looking at a couple other things and but it, I was just like a few steps over it and this this sweet little older guy comes over and he was like that's that pineapple's not not right that's not a good pineapple and at first I was like so caught off guard I was like what's wrong with my pineapple like just leave it go it's fine it's I just need it for photos like that was like what was running through my head because I had like you know 0.6 seconds and I was trying to get into the food store and out of the food store in my typical rushing um, tornado style life and um, so he was like do you know how to, how to properly pick a pineapple and I was like no I have I have no idea and at first I you know there was just like a big part of me that just wanted to be like sir it's fine don't worry about it and then you know then I was like oh my gosh this is the sweetest thing that this guy is taking this time his time out of the day to show me and to t explain to me how to pick a pineapple and so at that moment I just put myself on pause and I was like he is being sweet enough to give me some of his knowledge and share that with me and I need to give him the respect of listening and paying attention and so anyway so if you would like to know how to pick a pineapple he said that the bottom should be nice and dry it might even be a little moldy he said that that's okay and then he said it should smell like a pineapple and this one does and you want it to kind of be yellow down at the bottom but so the other one that I had picked up it wasn't yellow and it did, definitely didn't smell like a pineapple at all because he was like here now smell this one you smell it doesn't smell like a pineapple and so the lesson of this story, why I wanted to tell you this story about this, <laughs> this random dude in the food store, was that I think that we could all learn a lesson from him. So often we, we want to help people, but we feel like we, we're limited with our time and our resources and with our own mental capacity. And yes, it's nice to be able to dedicate you know, a, a, a large chunk or a whole day to somebody, or it's nice to be able to do something big. But helping other people and spreading kindness can really start from really small actions by sharing some knowledge that you have, for, you know, taking 30 seconds in the food store to, to see somebody who you could help. And I don't think that we, we focus on, a lot of times it almost feels like helping other people is an inconvenience and as much as we want to do it in our hearts, we're kind of like, I have all these other things going on in my life and that, you know, self-care and you have to take care of yourself first and all of that is, is absolutely true and I believe in, in um, you know, that you have to take care of yourself first and sometimes you have to put other people both, or you have to put yourself before other people and vice versa, sometimes you have to put other people before yourself, but little moments can go such a long way and when I was in the car afterwards, I was just like, wow, imagine if we were all a little bit more like like this guy, all a little bit more willing to share our knowledge. And that doesn't mean, you know, he didn't sit there and give me this 30 minute lesson on how to pick and select like any different type of fruit. Like it's not like you have to dump all of your knowledge or all of your knowledge on a certain topic on somebody all at one time, but just a little tidbit can really go a long way in, in somebody's life and somebody's day, making things a little bit more convenient for them and helping them out. And I mean, I felt, it felt really nice that this guy was willing to to just to help out a stranger and you know we I think so often we even miss moments like that we miss out on other people's kindness because we're always in a rush and we don't stop to really observe or take a moment to to engage in that kind of interaction and I'm not saying like go out and find strangers to talk to at the supermarket that's not what I'm getting at this message is just about slowing down a little bit and finding some small little ways that we can help other people whether it's people in your life or you know people that you just met or whoever if you see somebody who looks like they could use a little bit of your help help them don't be afraid and and let's be a little bit more aware of those moments more aware of when we can be useful and what we could do to make somebody's day in, in 30 seconds. Nothing big, nothing that's time consuming or inconvenient or anything like that. Just finding 
little moments to help out the people around us every day. So I hope that this week that you take that to heart and that you find some small way that you can help somebody and I guarantee that it's going to feel uh, good for you after too. So that's what I got this week. And um, now my now my dilemma is I took the photo of the pineapple, but I have no idea how to cut this sucker. Um, so if you have suggestions for me on how one does that, or what to do with like 12 kiwis, because I don't know what to make with them now, because I like how they taste, but I don't like how they feel. Um, me and my weird food issues. Uh, so yeah, if you have suggestions on cutting a pineapple, please leave them in the comments, because I have, um, I'm not even sure how to approach this. But I am so thankful to the Aldi, um, the guy in Aldi who helped me pick this pineapple. Alright, have a great week and I will see you next Monday or Tuesday if I'm behind in life.